When we are angry, a small issue becomes as big as an elephant. When we are too worried, something that seems simple becomes complicated. When we are in too much pain, we lose the ability to appreciate all the beautiful things around this life. Therefore, always allow yourself to calm down. The story of the man and the precious purple teapot serves as a reminder of the importance of maintaining calmness and clarity in every situation. In the quiet night, a man cherishes the precious purple teapot like a treasure. To avoid loss, he always keeps it by his side every night. One day, his sleep is disturbed by a loud noise that causes the teapot to fall to the ground while the lid disappears. In a daze, believing that the teapot could no longer be perfect as before, he throws it out of the window, overwhelmed with regret. As dawn breaks, he is astonished that the teapot lid has been accidentally saved by a pair of slippers and remains intact. But the teapot, it's gone. In anger, he also destroys the lid. The turning point of the story unexpectedly appears. The teapot is not lost in some distant place, but miraculously hangs on a tree right outside. The story is not just a tragedy about an object. It reflects the nature of human beings before facing difficulties and emotions. A reminder of the importance of maintaining rationality and calmness in the face of adversity. We often rush to make decisions while losing control, only to regret later. Wisdom and calmness are not only signs of maturity, but also the key to solving problems intelligently. This article will explore 10 powerful lessons from Stoicism to help you maintain calmness and composure in every situation. From learning to control immediate reactions to recognizing the value of patience and gratitude, watch the video until the end and make sure to attend all lessons because each lesson is a key to opening the door to becoming calm and living a more meaningful life. Lesson number one, be virtuous. In the cradle of Stoicism, where Epictetus, Seneca and Marcus Aurelius point the way, we find a profound reverence for virtue. At the heart of this philosophical foundation is an unwavering commitment, a moral compass guiding us through the storms of life. Virtue, encompassing wisdom, courage, justice and temperance, shines like guiding stars, directing us toward a life of tranquility and inner peace. In a world full of noise and haste, the pursuit of a virtuous life is a challenging endeavor. However, through relentless self-discipline and self-awareness, we come to realize that virtue is not only a shield protecting us from temptations and errors, but also a light illuminating the path to true freedom. Living virtuously is not merely about rejecting transient desires or impulsive emotions. It is about choosing a noble way of life, where every decision and action is guided by wisdom and concern for the common good. Virtue does not merely exist as a theoretical construct, it must be manifested through daily actions. In the pursuit of wisdom, we not only explore knowledge about the world around us, but also learn to apply that knowledge justly. Courage is not just bravery in the face of adversity. It is the ability to stay true to oneself in authenticity, even if it may lead to rejection by others. Justice and temperance 
guide us to treat others fairly and restrain ourselves from temptations, creating a world where everyone is respected and their worth is acknowledged. The path of virtue is not always strewn with roses. It requires patience, self-control and constant self-awareness. Yet, it is within this struggle that we find the deepest meaning of life. Not the pursuit of fleeting pleasures, but the building of a meaningful life based on understanding, kindness and respect for all beings. This is the lesson that Stoicism teaches us. To become beacons of virtue, illuminating the way for ourselves and for those around us. In a world of constant change, the quest for peace often leads us to ask, what should we focus on? Let us explore an approach in lesson number two to transform how we face challenges and open the door to a happier life. Lesson number two, embrace what you can control. On this matter, I have some bad news and some good news. The bad news is that you can't control much of what happens in life. You can't control what others say or think. You also can't choose your genes, the circumstances of your birth or growing up with a depressed mother and an alcoholic father. You can't change the year you were born the cultural values you inherited, or the people you grew up with. You can't even control disasters that may happen to you from traffic accidents, lightning strikes, floods, earthquakes, to asteroid impacts. You also can't fully control whether you'll get cancer, diabetes, lupus, or Alzheimer's, and you can't foresee if a loved one will suddenly depart in a way you couldn't have imagined. You can't control what others think of you or the rumors they hear about you. There's nothing in this crazy world that you can fully control. But here's the good news. The one thing you can control that is far more important than all of the above is your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. When we start to accept that real power lies within our thoughts and actions, every choice and every decision becomes extremely significant. We're no longer passive in life, but become creators of our own lives. We learn to embrace every challenge, not with fear and anxiety, but with determination and a willingness to learn. This power gives us the ability to create an inner space of peace where no circumstance can harm or take away our true freedom. We learn to live a conscious life, focusing on nurturing the soul and developing ourselves every day. It's a journey to find tranquility amidst the chaos, a process of daily self-transformation so that we're not just overcoming obstacles, but also creating meaning and value for ourselves and those around us. Lesson number three, limit excessive desires. At the core of Stoic philosophy lies the belief that excessive desires, akin to turbulent seas, have the potential to overwhelm our lives, leaving us in chaos and dissatisfaction. Stoic philosophers like Seneca, in their steadfast pursuit of inner peace, recognize the dangers of excessive desires for wealth, fame, and sensual pleasures. They advise us that to live a fulfilling and happy life, 
We need to aim for simplicity, finding joy within ourselves and in the essentials rather than in excess. By limiting excessive desires, we not only free ourselves from the shackles of unsustainable pursuits, but also discover true freedom and happiness. When no longer drawn by the glitter of materialism, our souls have the opportunity to reflect on the most fundamental and steadfast values of life, friendship, love, self-improvement and understanding. We begin to cherish what we have, learn to live in the present and embrace life with all its goodness and challenges. So, how do we limit these excessive desires? The first step is awareness. We need to ask ourselves, what truly matters to me? What is the cost of pursuing this desire? Is it hindering my true peace and happiness? By asking these questions and answering them honestly, we embark on the path toward a life governed by reason, not disrupted by unchecked desires. Specifically, let's consider a man named Marcus, a successful individual owning many valuable possessions, but feeling unhappy. He decided to change his life after discovering Stoic philosophy. He reduced his working hours, spent more time with family and friends, and allocated some of his wealth to support charitable causes. Through these actions, Marcus realized that true joy lies in simple and essential things like health and relationships, leading to peace and happiness within his soul. This example illustrates that limiting material desires and focusing on life's values brings true peace and meaning, reflecting an important lesson from Stoic philosophy. In the journey towards true freedom, Stoic philosophy serves as a guiding light, reminding us that in simplicity we find true richness and in limiting desires we discover the power to live a meaningful and happy life. We have explored the importance of limiting excessive desires to seek true peace and happiness. What do you think about this? How do you apply this lesson to your life? Please share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Next, in Lesson 4, let's explore the power of gratitude and how it can lead us to a life of peace, happiness and meaning. Lesson number four, the value of gratitude. Gratitude, in the philosophy of Stoicism, is a significant step on the journey towards inner freedom and mental peace. It is not just a simple attitude, but also a powerful tool to help us face and overcome life's challenges with courage and serenity. When gratitude becomes an integral part of daily life, we begin to see deeper value and meaning in every event, even in the most difficult circumstances. Marcus Aurelius, one of the great philosopher, emperors of Rome, and a Stoic practitioner, wrote, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Through this, he emphasized that by recognizing and appreciating the seemingly simple and ordinary aspects of life, we can nurture a rich soul and an open heart. Another example from daily life, seemingly simple yet containing profound value, is being grateful for each meal. For Stoics, meals are not just moments to nourish the body, but also opportunities to practice gratitude. Thanking the universe for the gifts of nature, the efforts of laborers who provide food for the table, and the wonder of life 
that we share. While eating, we focus on experiencing the flavors of each dish, expressing gratitude and reflecting on the long chain of connections that brought the food to our hands. Thus, each meal becomes a meaningful and grateful celebration. Importantly, gratitude doesn't just stop at acknowledging the good things that come to us, but also involves a willingness to share, to give those blessings to others. When grateful, we not only see the value in what we have received, but also recognize that we can be a source of inspiration and support for others. This creates a positive cycle of gratitude and compassionate action, benefiting not only ourselves, but also the broader community and society. Ultimately, gratitude in Stoicism is not a destination, but a journey, a continuous process through which, every day, we learn to appreciate life and every being in this universe more deeply. In this way, gratitude helps us build a solid foundation for inner peace, inner strength, and a meaningful life. And if you've learned a lesson for yourself from this, leave a comment. Practicing gratitude below the comment section of this video. Lesson number five, keep learning and growing. Learning is not just the process of acquiring knowledge. It's a journey of expanding our vision and deepening our life experiences. As we continue to learn, we not only challenge ourselves to understand more, but also develop the ability to adapt to change and uncertainty. Each step on the path of knowledge is a step into the world of understanding, where every event, every encounter, every book and every challenge becomes an opportunity to refine and test ourselves. It's the ongoing practice of learning how to live more meaningfully, confidently and calmly in the face of life's fluctuations. Furthermore, continuous learning and development also nurture humility, an important virtue in Stoic philosophy. Humility helps us realize that no matter how much knowledge we possess, there's always something new to learn, always a different perspective to explore. This opens up an attitude of learning from everyone around us, regardless of their status or expertise, and from every situation, whether it be success or failure. The relentless pursuit of learning and developing oneself is the essence of living rightly. It's not just the pursuit of knowledge for the sake of knowledge. It's the pursuit of wisdom to confront life's challenges with equanimity and purpose. We're reminded that self-development is an ongoing process and each day brings new opportunities to become the best version of ourselves. So, seize every opportunity to learn, not just to expand knowledge, but also to develop virtues, critical thinking, and deep gratitude for the world around us. This is the path of a Stoic in building a life full of meaning and inner peace. Before we guide you on the next journey with the power of acceptance, I want to take a moment to sincerely thank all of you for spending time with us. Your support and interest are not only tremendous encouragement for us, but also motivation to continue creating meaningful and quality content. But our journey doesn't stop here. To further support your development and our community, I want to challenge each of you to take a small step. Share your thoughts on the Keep Learning and Growing lesson in the comments section or simply like and share this video if you find value in our shares. Your opinions and feedback are invaluable sources of inspiration 
to help us improve and deliver even better quality content. Lesson number six, the power of acceptance. Acceptance is not just a gentle choice. It is also a noble expression of inner strength. It is not a sign of resignation, but a powerful affirmation of autonomy and wisdom in the face of life's ceaseless changes. The profound acceptance advocated by Stoicism goes beyond recognizing and embracing external events. It also lies in accepting oneself, one's limitations and capabilities. In a world where every event and every interaction can carry a lesson, acceptance opens the door to growth and learning. When we accept, we not only confront reality calmly, but also find peace within its inherent uncertainty. Acceptance, in the Stoic view, is the practice of logical and wise thinking in all situations. By understanding and applying the power of acceptance, we cease to be victims of circumstances. We become masters of ourselves, turning every challenge into an opportunity to cultivate virtue and inner strength. This demonstrates not only courage, but also discernment in recognizing what truly matters and is worthy of our efforts. Learning to accept helps us not only perceive things as they are, but also find peace in understanding. Whatever life brings, we can face it with resilience and tranquility. It is a lesson in power, not from controlling everything happening around us, but from controlling how we respond to them. Acceptance is the subtle realization that, in this ever-changing life, the steadfastness and tranquility of the soul are the strongest life boys. It is a solid foundation for building a meaningful, happy and truly free life. Lesson number seven. Understand the transitory nature of life. In the lesson about understanding and accepting the transient nature of life, we find one of the principles of liberation from unnecessary attachment and fear, helping us live a meaningful and peaceful life. This concept is not just a reminder of the impermanence of everything around us, but also an invitation to enjoy and cherish each moment. Realizing that every experience, whether joyful or painful, is temporary, we begin to reduce our attachment and obsession with material things and temporary desires. This doesn't mean we become indifferent or apathetic to life. On the contrary, we become deeper, capable of genuinely appreciating and loving everything around us more fully. Take, for example, a flower in the garden, a symbol of fleeting beauty. We are reminded that every life carries its beauty and value. Just as the flower embraces the sunlight and morning dew without worrying about withering tomorrow, we also learn to embrace each new day with gratitude and joy, despite the uncertainty of the future. Therefore, instead of worrying about the outcome of a series of events, focus on making the process meaningful. This can be done through mindful living and awareness of the environment and the people around us, thereby creating positive and sustainable impacts. Finally, understanding and accepting the transience of life helps us discover inner strength and calmness in every situation. This not only makes us stronger in the face of life's challenges, but also helps us find profound meaning and joy 
to share with those around us. We would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Have you applied the lesson of number seven to your daily life yet? Please share your profound insights in the comment section. In the journey to find peace and steadfastness, nothing is more valuable than learning to live mindfully. In lesson number eight, we are invited to an inner space where every breath and moment is cherished. As we become more attuned to the present, worries about the past and future gradually fade away, leaving only peace and clarity. Lesson number eight, practice meditation. Seneca, a revered Stoic philosopher, shed light on an important lesson for those seeking peace and self-mastery amidst the turmoil of life, the practice of meditation. Meditation is not just an act of silence. It is a profound journey into oneself, a method to explore and master one's thoughts and emotions. When we pause, sit down and truly listen, we begin to realize that the external noise is only surface level. Deep within is a space of tranquility, a space where we can find true peace. The practice of meditation not only helps us confront daily challenges with more calmness and steadfastness, but also opens the door to self-understanding. By observing and non-judgmentally acknowledging our thoughts and emotions, we learn to accept them without struggle or denial. This is the first step towards liberation from constraints, helping us discover the true essence of happiness and peace, not something external, but from within ourselves. When Seneca speaks of meditation, he is not merely describing a method of spiritual practice, he is describing a way of life, a life where every moment is experienced and evaluated not through the lens of judgment or expectation, but through acceptance and understanding. Meditation becomes a constant reminder to live in the present moment, where we cherish every breath, every step, and every moment with gratitude and wonder. Not only Seneca, but other Stoic philosophers teach us not just how to live, but how to live well. Through meditation and mindfulness practice, we not only learn how to maintain serenity amidst life's fluctuations, but also are reminded of the true value of existence. Living a life is not about waiting for something to happen, but about fully embracing each moment in the present. Lesson number nine, cultivate resilience. When you start to lose your calm, you can do whatever is necessary to feel more relaxed. But ideally, it's when you know how to help yourself before encountering stressful situations. This is when the ability to be resilient is how you can take care of your mental health and alleviate the impact of stress in life. When you develop this ability, you can control your stress before it overwhelms your mind and body. Resilience ability is not just about endurance. It's also about turning every challenge into an opportunity and every failure into a valuable lesson. But how do we nurture this potential strength? The process begins with acceptance. Accepting that, in life, we can't always control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we react to them. The next step is to develop the courage to face fears, not to run away or hide our emotions. This courage doesn't come from being invincible, 
but from the ability to stand up every time we fall. It requires self-awareness to see ourselves truthfully, so we can learn how to heal, encourage ourselves, and keep moving forward. Building positive relationships with those around us is also an important part of developing resilience ability. When we know we're not alone and that people are willing to lend a hand when needed, our mental strength is reinforced, helping us quickly regain balance and be ready for the next challenges. Finally, nothing can replace perseverance and patience. Building resilience ability is a long journey full of up and downs and challenges. Every step and every decision we make today is part of that process. There are no shortcuts to inner strength, only relentless perseverance and belief in oneself, in the ability to overcome all difficulties. Resilience ability is the key to unlocking the door to mental freedom, allowing us not only to survive, but to thrive after every challenge. It's a valuable lesson that Stoic philosophy aims to convey, where strength doesn't come from dominating what happens to us, but from how we choose to face and overcome them. We believe that everyone's journey is unique how has nurturing your resilience ability influenced your path? Enlighten others with a comment. Lesson number 10. Choose your response. Imagine a cup of coffee spilled on your work desk. A small event, but enough to ruin the day for many. Stoicism teaches us that, instead of allowing ourselves to get angry and upset, we can choose to see the situation from a different perspective. An opportunity to clean up, to rearrange our workspace, or even a reminder of the necessity of mindfulness and attention. In every moment, life challenges us with the unexpected, from major events to daily trivialities. How we react to these challenges greatly determines the quality of our lives and our spirits. Rather than falling into feelings of anger, helplessness or disappointment, Stoicism teaches us that every moment brings us an opportunity to choose how to perceive and act. This power, strong and personal, is the essence of true freedom. When we become aware of this power, our lives begin to change. It's not a change in external circumstances, but a change within, in how we perceive and interact with the world. Learning to choose our responses not only helps us maintain calmness in the face of difficulties, but also opens up the possibility of approaching every situation creatively and purposefully. This requires self-awareness patience, and above all, continuous practice. As we begin to see every challenge as an opportunity to practice and improve our decision-making skills, we not only become stronger in the face of life's challenges, but also develop deeper wisdom and understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The lesson of choosing our reactions is not just a method for facing difficulties, but also an invitation for us to live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. By recognizing and harnessing our power in choice, we not only consciously write our own story, but also discover true strength and freedom within our souls. Together, We've embarked on a meaningful journey through the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, a treasure of inner peace and resilience in the face of life's storms. These lessons are not only advice, but also beacons illuminating the path ahead, helping us stay calm 
and steadfast every day. If you feel inspired by these 10 lessons, if these stories have touched your heart, then don't forget to share your thoughts with us. Subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to not miss any valuable insights from us. This is not just about supporting us statistically, but also a promise to continue together on this journey of exploration and growth. Remember to keep a steadfast soul and an open heart and keep watching the next videos displayed at the end of this one. Until we meet again in a new video, cherish every moment, live each day fully, and nurture your soul with curiosity and patience. Wishing you a wonderful journey, full of discovery and growth. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.